Hi, we're starting out with Wave Loving Recipes, and today I'm going to be air frying chicken breast, whole skinless boneless chicken breast in the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven. This air fryer convection toaster oven is able to do both the bacon and the air frying, so I'm going to show you how to do those air fried chicken breasts right now. All right, so for the ingredients for this cook, two boneless skinless chicken breasts, they're, uh, you know, two from those multi-packs of large chicken breasts, probably about 10 ounces or so each. Um, I've got two large eggs. I've got one cup of buttermilk, one cup of yellow cornmeal, one cup of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of applewood smoked sea salt, one tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning, a half a tablespoon of freshly ground black pepper, and some cooking spray. So to start, I'm just going to take my egg wash and mix, well, I'm gonna mix up the eggs and put the buttermilk in and mix that in. All right, now I'm just gonna take all the dry ingredients and mix them together in this bowl here. All right, I've got my egg wash made up. I've got my breading made up. Now all I do is dip each chicken breast into the egg wash. So I'm gonna take this into the egg wash. And I've got an air fryer basket here with some foil underneath to just uh, make cleanup easier there. And just get this all really dipped nice in the buttermilk egg wash. And you know, if you want, you can soak it overnight or whatever. Your preferences with the egg washing your chicken you can definitely share how you do yours in the comments and I'm gonna just throw this into the bread and I'm gonna get some of the breading up just to sprinkle over top by hand there just whip it on over I'm gonna get it good and coated with the breading Make sure you get in there good. And I'll just throw that first one on the air fryer basket. And then I'm going to do the same here for the second one. All right, got that second chicken breast done. Just going to put a little more breading on that there. All right, now I'm going to just get this glove off real quick. Now I'm going to just spray cooking spray all over all parts of these chicken breasts. So I'm just going to actually just turn them over first before I even start spraying. Spray this bottom side first, get a little more breading over here where I see it needs a little more. Now I'm just going to spray them down. And so now I've got them all sprayed with the oil. And air frying, this is what the uh, chicken fries in, that oil that was just sprayed on. I hit another spot here I feel need to touch up. Now I'm gonna open the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven air fryer convection toaster. It does it all. Now inside on the lowest rack, I've got a baking pan with just some foil line for easy cleanup. And that's on the bottom rack on the third rack up is where I've got the air fryer basket. So just stick that on in. Now I hit the on off button to start the New Wave Bravo and I'm going to hit the menu button once which takes me to air fry. Turn the knob till I get to 425 degrees Fahrenheit cooking temperature. Hit the time temp button. Turn time up to 35 minutes and now I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button. Let that cook commence. I'll just turn that light on. I'll bring you on back. All right, with 12 minutes left, I see the tops are starting to nearly overcook. In this uh, smart oven, I don't need to flip the chicken over. All I need to do is uh, lower the degree that the heat is coming from the top so the bottom gets heated from the bottom heating source. So at this point, I'm going to hit the top bottom button 
it shows me my top heat source is at 100%, I can turn that down. Now, knock that down to, let's say 40% even. I'll just leave it at 40%. So now my top heat source is only running at 40%. Bottom's running at 100. My temperature's still at 425, and I've got 12 minutes left in my cook. But that'll help ensure that the top heat source doesn't overdo it on cooking things. And I'll let it play out this last 12 minutes and bring you back. All right, we're coming to the final seconds of this cook. Starting to get some hints of smoke in the final second. So we're good and done here. I'm going to just take the air fryer basket and lift it out. Oh, I scraped a little, a little of my breading off trying to pull it out of there. But it's all good. Going to take this meat probe, stick it right into this real thick one. And stick it in there real deep and I'm just gonna go straight off of the device for testing it here you see it's moving it's moving real fast it's up to 142 148 153 it's gonna fly past 165 like nobody's business at this rate so there we go past 160 well 165 we're safe and moving on beyond 165 even so uh, that being the bigger of the two, we know they're they're both fine. I'm going to, uh, I'll just go ahead and try and get the little one off. Let's see if I can get him off of there. I'm just going to scrape the bottom a little in case any breading was caught up in the crisper, uh, the air frying basket. Also, if you have a power air fryer oven, you can do this on your crisper trays to help easily get stuff up through, you know, that may have fell through. And you don't have to worry about any of that uh, cooking spray really doesn't help much so, so that's uh, one side of it I'm going to uh, give it a flip here you see the other side was pretty well cooked there's just a little that came off there but pretty well cooked on both sides and uh, I want to speak to that a little bit more after I do the taste test but I'm going to just cut it open in the middle and you see how juicy that is let me get you closer I mean that's crazy juicy crazy juicy I've done this uh, more than once so I knew 35 minutes um, was the way to go so I'm just cutting a piece for my taste testing pleasure get the camera adjusted Lord willing it'll be those pieces will be cooler by then and we'll do a taste test all right time to taste test our air fried chicken breast from the new wave Bravo XL smart oven mm. it's so tender it's so juicy I'm telling you fried over the top and super tender inside and juicy perfect and I said I wanted to talk a little more about the air frying and flipping and such in the new wave Bravo when you're air frying do not and I repeat do not do flipping at all just adjust your heat source since you have the top and heat bottom heat source to play with just adjust the heat source and how much one is uh, pumping out you might probably have to lower that top one somewhere during the cook just lower that top one a bit, let that cook continue to play out. I can say, you know, I've done this, like I said, more than once. If you try and flip midway during the cook, that underside's not cooked very well. Very well. You try and flip, and all your breading could just fall right off as you're trying to flip. I mean, just really just fall right off. It's uh, something that I haven't experienced in other cookers like that. But it seems like that underside, you know, you want to just let it play out by cooking from the bottom heat source. Don't do any flipping at all. Just adjust, you know, the degree of how much one's pumping out heat. You'll be just fine. It cooks up perfect. It's juicy. It's fantastic. So, that's how you do your air frying of large items like large chicken breasts in the New Wave, in the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven. It's a good air fryer, convection toaster oven. And so, um, you know, you can leave your comments, tell me what you think. Share the video with a friend, you know, let them know. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel. 
You can also hit that notification bell. Also, I've got plenty of recipes at superwaveovenrecipes.com. Also, I'm on Twitter at Wave Oven Recipes. The printable version for this, there'll be a link in the description. Also, um, you know, if you like this, like I said, you can share it and continue to enjoy things here and good eating.